The Life of a Hunter A Type Fix by Arthur Fitzwilliam Tate My name is Robert Goodrell, and currently we are looking at a painting in the Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art located in Bentonville, Arkansas. Together, we are going to take a closer look at one of the most suspenseful pieces in the museum. Arthur Fitzwilliam Tate was born near Liverpool, England in 1819 and studied art by copying art drawn by students from the Royal Academy Institute of Manchester in England. Tate grew up with a love for the outdoors and wildlife and those passions are seen throughout his artworks. In 1850, Tate moved to New York City and around this time he also acquired a camp in the Irondack Mountains where many of his outdoor pieces are originated. In 1856, Tate painted The Life of a Hunter, A Type Fix. The Life of a Hunter, A Type Fix was painted with oil on canvas in 1856. The lines of the painting are very distinct. As you can see, if you focus in on the barren tree limbs in the background, you'll see the detail of the horizontal lines further elaborating the effects of winter. Also, the vertical lines seen create the edges of the trunks. It makes the trees seem more detailed, important, not that they are simply there for a backdrop. Possibly, this is Tate's way of alluding to the importance of the trees and the shadows they cast, seen in the cover they provide for the other hunter in the background. The color is realistic, the white of the snow, the blood droplets beneath the barren man, the brown and greens of the trees. Make it very clear what weather is like on this hunting day. However, the shadows and light that the painter conveys to me are the most impressive. Notice the sunlight streaming through the trees onto the barren hunter in the middle of the painting, forcing the viewer's immediate attention to barren hunter. The shadows cast by both parties are also very realistic. Then we look around to see the other hunter hidden by those shadows. Tate conveys realism throughout his painting with realistic colors, human proportions, light and shadow to convey this narrative of the hunt. Tate uses these elements to tell his viewers a story. A man, knocked on his rear by a bear, losing his gun in the process, reaches for his knife in a last attempt to save his life. He hopes his fellow hunter, hidden by the cover of the trees, will save him, but for the moment, he must assume he is all on his own. During this time period, there are many outdoors and landscape paintings that could have influenced Tate's works. The Hudson River School certainly may have left an impression on many of Tate's works. In comparison to Kindred Spirits by Archer, Asher Brown Durand, The Life of a Hunter of Tate Fix is painted in different seasons, obviously. Both people in each painting are seen in nature, however the ways in which they are interacting with nature are very different. The men of kindred spirits appear to be studying, studying the natural elements, possibly an attempt to paint what they see. They seem, to, they seem to be appreciating the nature around them, while the men in the life of a hunter are more focused on survival. The detail in the trees seen in the background in both paintings is an interesting comparison. Both paintings show extreme focus on the trees as well as both are seen to use light and shadow to accent attention onto the middle of the painting. Both parties are unafraid to show the roughness of nature. In kindred spirits, many of the trees are broken and dead, showing the force nature can have. In the life of a hunter, this can be seen in the dead trees resting against their brethren in the background, and the dead grass poking its way through the snow. I chose The Life of a Hunter a Type Fix because of its ability to draw on the viewer. Its size stands out. Hanging on the wall of crystal bridges it is impossible to walk by without noticing. Also, the suspense of the piece forced me to come and take a personal investigation. Is the man's life about to come to an end? Will he be able to kill this massive bear with just a knife? Will his hunting partner shoot the bear or not pull the trigger in fear of hitting his friend? 
Also the painter's signature on the wood stump intrigued me, almost like it was painted in blood. But the blood of who? The outdoors, the suspense, the ability to capture the minds of his audience makes the life of a hunter a tight fix so incredible to me.